So I got her propped up. Just the way I want her. Got her cleaned up to where I'm satisfied. And I'm gonna weld that together. And then when it cools, I'll put it in the vise and heat it up over here and bend it. And it should be good to go. Gotta make sure that's square before I tag it. Heck yeah, looks good. Looks good to me. So. Anyway, you get the idea. Okay, so maybe this will help you share my vision. Can you imagine putting your foot on that? I think that'll work. All right, here's a little better look. Can you see that working? I can see that working. I still got to hook up the linkage and stuff. But, uh, that's a big step in the right direction. There's a look at it from the side a little bit. I think it'll be fine. It clears every which way. It'll actually be up high like this. It's not hitting the motor. I need to work on that shaft a little bit. It's still wanting to have a little resistance. But it clears the foot pedal. And when the foot pedal's up, well, when I get it over here just a little bit more, it'll clear it. So anyway, yeah. That's going to be it. A little fine tuning. It's going to be great. Hey everybody, <laughs> how y'all doing? Uh, I know this is the same video, but this is a different day. I had to take a break from what I was doing, go back to work, and uh, I just didn't get anything done there for a little while, but I come out this morning, and I'm, I apologize that I went ahead without you, and I did a few things trying to work up those brakes, and let me show you what I've done. Bear with me just a second. So I think where I left off, I had showed you how I made the rear part of the linkage by welding that part off that other brake cable to it and using those components that I had. Well, now we're going to move over here to the front part. And uh, I think I showed you the brake pedal too that I had made, but I've done a few little modifications and some extra stuff. I had to figure out a way to hook the linkage. To the pedal and I wanted it to pivot so I made this little bracket which I think you can see a little dog leg in it and what that does is it brings it down 
so that it pulls back and forth straight and doesn't rub the bottom of the frame. So when I get it painted, I don't have to worry about it wearing on the paint. And uh, it pulls it straight. And of course, I cut that out of the same steel as the, the all this other stuff, you know, the eighth-inch steel. And then I took it and heated it and bent it and drilled the holes in it. I've got a shoulder bolt in here with washers, so it's loose. It, it's tight. The bolt is tight, but the mechanism is loose, so it can pivot. And it works. It doesn't look like there's much travel room there, but actually, right there locks the brakes up, and it's right above the foot pad or the the footboard. So that's nice. Right there is right there is free, and right there is locked up. Now I took another long bolt that I had and welded it to the other end of the shaft when I figured out where to cut it. And it has enough adjustment in there. Plus there's adjustments back here at the other end as well. Because of the little wing nut and stuff, there's probably two in inch and a half or something like that where the thread's there. And there's like three inches worth of threads up here. So if I ever need to adjust it, I've got all kinds of ways to go. Also, so a couple other things I've done. Hang on, let me try to get you a better view. I'm gonna take you off the tripod for a minute. I also put a grease zerk in it, grease zerk, so that way I can grease it. And I was concerned about it sliding back and forth on that shaft, I didn't know what I was gonna do. So I took a piece of metal I had, a piece of scrap, and it was basically looks like a keyway. But I cut it, I know it's kind of ugly in there because I haven't cleaned it up yet. But uh, I cut it just right there for a stop. And I also needed some way to keep the pedal from coming way up here. You know what I mean? So I needed a stop to keep it from coming way up here like that. So what I did is I notched out, as you can see here, I notched out right there in the side of the this thing that I made. I just notched out a piece for a little ways and put that keyway type looking thing in there. So that's as far back as it can come. I don't know if I'm making that so you can see it or not. Anyway, that's just, oh shoot, it moved. I need to weld that better. <laughs> okay, anyway, that's the, that's the theory. Um, yeah, I need to take that all apart there and weld that on there better. But yeah, now I can grease it, it'll stop, and it's right where I want it. So, I'm glad I know now that I need to weld that a little better. So, uh, but yeah, so the brakes work, other than that little bit of weld spot. I gotta, I'm gotta, i going to take that back up there and give it a good welding and see if I can't clean it up some. And then I'm going to move on from there, and I'll share with you what I get going when I get that far. But as for right now, I'm going to let that be it. That's my brakes as far as they are right now. I have some custom ideas that I may throw in here a little bit later, but I'm not concerned with that right now. Uh, I got a lot of stuff I got to do, you know, and it's all just which way do I want to go. But anyway, yep, yeah, thanks for watching. Now you know about the brakes, and uh, the next video will tackle something different. <laughs> okay? All right, thanks, guys. Y'all take care, and uh, have a great day. See ya.